I'm on the way over to go check out our brand new property we just bought for you. Yeah, it called me crazy, right? I finished this project. It was supposed to be my retirement home, and now I'm selling it because I bought a church! <laughs> Welcome to my new home. Come on in. What do you say we go do a quick tour and then I'll tell you why I bought this place and why I think this is exactly the kind of thing you should be looking to buy in for yourself. So a quick history on this building before we get started. This particular location was actually built in 1880. What is about me and 1880 homes, eh? Figure that out. But listen, they had a fire in the 1930s and they had to rebuild. They had another fire in 1979 and then they had to rebuild again. So what I have here is actually really solid granite stone foundation with a very modern 1980 construction. Everything's brand new. I have clear span truss roof line. So that whole building is a vaulted ceiling. It's 35 feet wide and 60 feet long. Yep, that's a nice footprint. <laughs> Upstairs is going to be one level and then downstairs, the basement, it's actually only half sunken and it has a 10 foot finished ceiling. When you think about that, what I've got here is a 4,000 square foot living space, okay, with nothing but tall and vaulted ceilings. This, when I add the interior walls and bust it all up, we're gonna turn it into a four bedroom, four bathroom luxury house with all kinds of amenities. Outdoor living space, we're gonna add a garage. We're gonna make videos about everything we're gonna do here. But the reason we bought it is because the basement, okay, is going to be our studio for the next couple years. We're gonna work on building up here and building all the outside first, and then we're gonna finish renovating the basement into and then like a movie theater room, right? With a nice bar and custom entertainment area. Probably get some good old fashioned stand up arcade games. We're gonna have a lot of fun. All right, we're gonna have you come along for the ride. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna be able to explore what it means to renovate with 1980 materials and construction technology. Because the point is this, if we're building the same quality material, brand new hopes today as the way this was built, I don't have to modify much. All I had to do was go down to the building office and I put in an application to change the, the zoning here from institutional to residential. Thousand bucks, 90 days, I can move in. <laughs> this is gonna be amazing. Listen, if you have an old church in your area and you're thinking about buying it, it's not that hard to convert. In order to get occupancy, you gotta have a bathroom, you gotta have a kitchen. Now our kitchen downstairs is more of a serving kitchen and it needs a lot of work, but we have a lot of great opportunity to make video there as well. So that's what we're gonna do. We have plans to open up the wall over here and put in a huge sliding door to walk out on a balcony. It's gonna be a massive outdoor balcony patio. Where of course, we're gonna have a hot tub. Once I got myself a hot tub, I'm never going back. So we're gonna have to get another one. We're, gonna, we're even planning on putting in a pool in this one, okay? We're also gonna be contacting the city about getting our septic system updated for the new construction. So all of these building aspects, zoning, permits, and, and, and all of that, all of that content is gonna be in this series. And as well, we're gonna be doing videos on everything you wanna see down in our studio. So we're gonna set up a fake bathroom. We've already got a kitchen going. We're gonna set up a couple of other things so that we can do and build everything you guys need to see. Make sure you hit up the comment section, let us know what you wanna do. Now, as far as all of this is concerned, yeah, it comes with a pipe organ. How cool is that? And downstairs, we even have a functioning player piano. Now, full disclosure, let's talk money. Because we're sitting on a half acre and because it was an empty church and nobody was using it, because during COVID, we didn't let people go to buildings like this and, and get together. So the United Church of Canada sold it to us for $240,000. That's 4,000 square feet of modern living space and all it needs is interior walls and some finishings. I'm telling you right now, it's a renovator's dream come true. I'm also sitting on a half acre property on a really quiet neighborhood and I'm set back from the road, so I'm not gonna have road traffic issues like I did the last place. This is gonna be a hell of a lot of fun. Now I expect this project to take about three full years, okay? And that's because we're gonna be spending a lot of time in the winter traveling in all over North America and visiting you on your own locations. But the point is this, this house has a four bedroom, five bath, 
4,000 square feet of finished space and a landscape yard, it's going to be worth about a million bucks in three years. Where else can you get a deal where you can buy a property for 240 and turn it into a million renovating it yourself, right? It's like I said in the last video, all you gotta do is buy the building materials, put in your sweat equity, and you can make more money renovating a property like this than you can if you were a freaking heart surgeon. Think about it. Now, we have this massive backyard, right? Because it's amazing. Whenever you buy an old property, it's usually closer to the road. So the backyards are massive. So we have room, we're gonna put a huge garage and workshop over here. So we can have some awesome places to make videos later on. We're gonna build a tiny house in the corner. That's right, we're building a tiny house. It's gonna be a guest room pool house. Hmm? Think about that. That'll be a lot of fun. Of course, the pool, we need a pool and the outdoor landscaping, the outdoor kitchen. And I wanna encourage you, make sure you're along for the ride. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Hit the bell for notifications. We have a crew coming out. We're gonna be staining the brick, okay? We're painting this whole building, giving it a much more modern flair. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Our plan ultimately is to enclose the entrances on the front and the back in glass and really get that kind of combination like that little bit of conflict there between the old and the new it's gonna be a really fun time one of the things we're gonna do different on the channel this time around is on this project we're gonna be sharing with you all of the costs all of the expenses and so you we can keep that whole balance sheet total going remember the goal is to turn this into a million dollar property so we're gonna share how much it costs for us to get there I understand whether in Canada US different markets there's pricing differences but we want to be really transparent on this build so that you can get an idea of what's going to be involved sweat equity and actual equity so you can have a project like this too. Thank you for joining us and if you want to check out the playlist of this crazy journey from the very beginning click the button right over here. We'll see you in another video soon. Cheers.